What's up, Hoopers? This is Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball, and in today's video, we're going to go over three easy tips to help you shoot the basketball better in real games. All right, guys, like I said, we're going to go over three quick, easy tips to really help you think about shooting the basketball better in real game situations. Right, but before we get started, click that link that's in the description. You can get a free workout from us at Think Pro Basketball to help you take your game to the next level. Now, the first thing I'm going to talk about is your footwork and how important your footwork is to shooting the basketball. This is really the base and foundation of your shot and making sure that you're on balance at all times. So figure out if you need to have a narrow base, wide base, one foot in front of the other, feet equal, whatever it may be, you must figure out your feet for your shot to work out consistently, right? Because if you're shooting the basketball and your feet are too close but you don't like it that way, or you don't get your feet set, you become off balance, you'll struggle to shoot the basketball. So the first thing and the key important tip into helping you become a better shooter and shooting consistently is making sure your feet are the way that you need them in order to become a better shooter. So again, figure out how you want them, set them up and make sure that it's the same way each and every time that you shoot the basketball because this is going to lead into your success at becoming a great shooter. All right guys, next we're gonna be talking about the preparation that goes into shooting the basketball and how you should prepare yourself to shoot, right? So let's just say, you know, I'm about to receive a pass, I'm coming off of a screen, maybe I'm running in transition. The important thing to do is to show your passer where you want the basketball, right? So basically if I want the ball and I want it passed to me, I will always show my passer that I want it about chest level, right? Because this allows me to just be able to catch, keep it in my shot pocket and shoot the basketball. Some players might like it lower where they can catch, get that rhythm into it. Some might like it high where they can bring it down and then go right back into their shot. But again, this is just another comfort thing and figuring out where you want the ball thrown to you. But it's all about the preparation, showing your hands, getting your feet again, getting your feet ready and prepared to shoot the basketball. The way you get your body turned towards the rim. All this stuff goes in prepared in preparing yourself to score and to shoot the ball. So make sure you show your hands, get your feet ready, and turn your body and shoulders towards the rim so you can shoot the best shot that you can possibly take. Alright guys, the last little quick tip I'm going to give you is your release. This is the last opportunity you have to have the ball in your hands before you let it go. And your release is important because we want to make sure that we're getting good extension and follow through on our shot. We're not shooting the ball flat. We're not going to the right. We're not going to the left, but we're getting full extension and follow through to get good arc on our shot, giving it the best chance to get over that front of the rim and to shoot the and to score the basket. OK, so make sure no matter where your release is actually coming from, but you're getting good extension and follow through in order to shoot a good jump shot. Right. And most importantly, with all three of these tips that I've given you in today's video, it all goes in with consistency and being comfortable, figuring out what's best fits for you and doing it each and every time that you shoot the basketball. And that's really important, mostly important with your release. If your release is the same each and every time, then that means you're giving yourself a best chance to, shoot, to score the basketball. But putting them all three together, showing your footwork and getting that right, making sure you're always prepared and giving your best shot and release on your extension and follow through will lead to success when shooting the basketball. Stigmata. All right, guys, well, that's it for today's video. Like I said, it was just going to be a couple quick tips that's really going to help you become a better shooter, right? Making sure your footwork is always correct, making sure you're prepared to shoot the basketball and get full extension and follow through on your release. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. Comment if you want to see any other videos from Think Pro Basketball and let us know what they are. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to join me and the rest of the Think Pro Basketball family as we continue to put out great content every single week that's designed to help you improve your game. Now, until I see you again next time, hit the gym, hit the court, put the work in, and remember to always keep hooping.